the big three is important. They're keeping anime alive. Anime wouldn't anime would be going. It wouldn't even survive without the big three. Uh, that's that's pretty much my thoughts on this shit. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Niggas watch anime. Yes. And gentlemen, what is up? JC here, back again to give y'all another edition of the weekly anime manga news for this week. For this week, I got four pieces of news, four big pieces of news I want to talk about. So, starting off, I'll go into the first one. Um, this one concerns the new Dragon Ball Z movie. So, pretty much from what I've heard, a nonprofit organization by the name of Uni Japan has just offered, has just, you know, Support is send, is sending 50 million yen to support the new Dragon Ball Z movie, and that is crazy. That's almost 600. That's a, that's like around 600 thousand U.S. dollars. But the fact that the Japanese government is sending in money to support this movie means that they really expect it to do good, because. <laughs> 50 million yen that is <laughs> that is insane so this movie has a shit ton of support behind it so expect the graphics to look really good or at least expect it to have superb animation because with that much money that much money the animation should be nothing less than flawless it should be nothing less than flawless second piece of news um, Shonen Jump greats um, do like this special tribute for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure's 25th anniversary. Now I know I've been talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure a lot, but hey, a lot of good shit has been coming out for JoJo. So pretty much um, in the latest issue of Ultra Jump, there's like this booklet with all these um, tribute drawings from Shonen Jump artists such as Akira Toriyama, um, Oda, Kubo. Togashi, all these big time mangaka we all know about, uh, who drew like these special uh, tributes for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and most of them are Jotaro related because we all know how popular Jotaro is, especially in Japan. But some of them are really, really good, and some of them are really, really not good. I'm looking at you, Togashi. Seriously, that's really fucking lazy, my nigga. Really fucking lazy. <laughs> but seriously, if you guys want to check it out, link down below. It's really awesome tribute. Some of these style, some of them pulled off the style really well, and some of them, you know, at least they tried. And also, the UK branch uh, for Namco Bandai Games had just put out a One Piece Pirate Warriors trailer, which is like a really cool cinematic showing us, you know. The entire journey of One Piece, you know, from the beginning all the way up to the Marineford arc. It's a really cool trailer, so pretty much they're hyping up the game because it's going to come out in Europe on the 21st and for America on PSN on the 25th. So, if you guys want to check out the trailer, link down below. And be sure to support One Piece Pirate Wars when it comes out in either Europe or America because this could be the last chance a One Piece game has here in the States. So, don't fuck it up. And the last piece of news, Funimation has just announced that they're going to delay the release of a certain magical index by a couple weeks. Actually, not a couple, by like six weeks. So, if you're a big fan of a certain magical index, then bad news, the DVDs are going to be delayed by a couple weeks, six weeks at best. So, um, yeah, you know, it's okay. I mean, for what I've heard, it's been taking like a while for this to get dubbed. So, I think... Uh, six more weeks wouldn't be that bad, but if you guys want to check out the rest, link down below in the description box down below. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys this week. This has been Masking JC. Keep on keeping on, and I'll catch you guys again later. Peace.